guys good morning we're here in front of worldwide corals and we're gonna head to Jacksonville to go check out a tank that we're gonna add some fish to hopefully whenever someone picks me up that they have the heater on because it's pretty chilly I don't know what it feels like 20 it's probably only 50 but oh my gosh dude hey, ready to go? it's freezing do you got the heater on in this thing I do actually <laughs> oh let me tell you I about think, warmer. I think it's snowing uh, it's like wait, degrees. maybe not. It's pretty, it's pretty cold. It's 40 degrees. Go to Floridian, triple layer. One, <laughs> two, three, and a t-shirt. I said it was we're about 20. We're freezing, guys. This is like, it's the end of the world. In Florida, we're suffering. You know, it's just, it's crazy. It's, it's a hard day. But anyhow, we're getting ready to go to Jacksonville to one of our great customers. Uh, we did a crazy setup. For those of you guys that go to Reef to Reef, uh, we did a build thread a while back. I think it's a 600 uh, gallon tank on the second floor with a 300 gallon on the first floor. It's a three story house right on the beach, uh, pool on the second floor. So we're gonna show it to you guys to the finish. We're gonna be adding some livestock, some coral, some fish. So follow us along guys, we're getting some, uh, some heat packs and you guys can tell it's freezing outside. Don't laugh at us guys, you know, it's the winter storm. We're, we're trying to uh, weather the storm here in, uh, in Florida. What is Frank doing over there? Just insulating the boxes here, making sure that they're nice and warm since it's so cold out. <laughs> um, we're freezing, but we're dying. Yeah, we're packing it uh, very well so that way we keep these fish nice and uh, toasty. Not too toasty, but a little toasty. How many fish are we bringing? Uh, a good handful. We've got a ghost marine tank. We've got the Marginized Butterfly. A couple of Liar Tail Antheus. Um, what else? White Tail Full Tank. Pintail Rest. Flame Rest Trio. Good handful. More than 11. What are you going to do when we're gone? I'm going to figure it out, but. I honestly don't know. I'm gonna miss you guys so much. I hope you'll be all right. It's kind of cold. Yeah. I'll try to stay warm. Don't have too much fun without me. It's warm in here. It's nice. It's not cold. Yeah, it's because we're inside with the heater on. <laughs> Full blast. 51 degrees outside is dangerous. Life threatening conditions. <laughs> 2,000 years later. Come on, Tommy. Look at this, bro. Put it back somewhere. The class. No, seriously, we were driving in the area. We, we did a project, and I looked at Josh and I go, Josh, do you bring the epoxy? They're like, no. I'm like, dude, we're coming to grow a bunch of corals, this and that. So I'm like, it, dude, let's grab some. Um, cool, man. We're welcome to Some epoxy. Man. Yeah, there you go. So we're taking yeah. our bio reef, man. We hear Max here, and uh, he does a lot of the. Every day, just everything, I guess. Yep. The food store is beautiful. We got some amazing display tanks. Um, give us a little bit of insight on what we got on a couple of the, the, the bigger tanks here we have. <clears throat> well, um, I, I mean, some of these are pretty old. You know, we've been yeah. we've been sitting here for a minute. So um, a lot of these, uh, hey, Gary, how's it going? We've got customers we got that are, you know, been, been here, literally shopping here decades. That's so like cool. This tank here is like six and a half years old. That tank's four years old. This one behind you is only two years old from Frag. Uh, but this big one here is uh, over a decade. We've got one in the back that's four years. So Even some of the fish have been in here for you know a minute. But it's really we're a lot of walk-in setups, um, getting people into the hobby, integrating. Um, you can see we carry a lot of dry goods and um, all the all the standard stuff. You know, just kind of stuffed in in here. And, uh, and how long is this for? Uh, Eddie's owned it. Eddie Miller's owned yeah. it for uh, uh, 11 years, Seven I think, years this now. year. So it's been a while. Um, yeah, about decades. almost as long, I think, as uh, as, as a tank as, in the back. Yeah, Vic and Lou and, and those guys are running worldwide. So it's been a minute. 
for awesome. sure we've been here but uh it's um I like gotta so say, the display cool. tanks are phenomenal here. So, exactly. if you're ever in Jacksonville, you guys gotta stop by the store. I mean, it's it's pretty impressive. Yeah, we got some cool fishing that we even that we keep in here, like for sale. Little gym tanks floating around in the in the four by fours. We're actually gonna raffle one off here coming up soon. But uh, yeah, some of these tanks have been here. Most of them for six plus years uh, as the reefs and, and the displays. You're and talking how long about. you been here? Uh, uh, this I should uh, nine years. You been here nine years? Nine years, yeah. Been been, been mixing it up. So. No way. But yeah, we keep uh, we pride ourselves on fish too. Every time Jason Fox comes through, he's always buying our copper band butterflies and, and yellow funny. tangs and whatnot. But we'll keep uh, six, seven hundred fish at any given time. Um, sometimes more and um, varying sizes, varying varieties, collector fish to basic stuff. It went from getting epoxy and glue to buying corals. <laughs> it's great. This is great. Good friend of ours, guys. Give him business if you can. We love these guys from BioReek, man. Appreciate you. We're on location in Jacksonville, Florida. We're at a beautiful home. We have a huge tank to show you guys. A customer of ours, his name's Lee. We're about to introduce you to him. And uh, we'll talk to him a little bit about his tank and his filtration room. Hey Lee. How you doing? How's it going? Great. So what inspired you to, to do a tank this size and um, where, where you wanted to put it in, in the first place as well? We kind of designed the house around this. Oh, okay. <laughs> so it was a big project with uh, with something like this. Then. Yes, uh, we put it in on the very beginning parts of the plans and uh, wanted mm -hmm. to build a big peninsula like this. Going on the second floor here and having uh, the view that we do uh, here locally, then uh, that was one of the requirements that we had to be able to see, uh, continue see to see the view in addition to seeing the tank. So we can actually stand on one side and you still get a clear view of the ocean Which through the, the tank. Coolest thing. Uh, so the peninsula was the, the best approach to getting to that. And we wanted to make it large enough um, to, to where we can populate it and, and it looked like a, a showpiece. It almost looks like you're part of the ocean in here with the tank. The, the tank itself, this one is uh, eight feet long and it's 42 inches wide, 30 inches tall. So it, that measures out to 525 gallons. Say about five something, 500 or so gallons. And then when you add, I think it's like 180 gallon sump underneath it. So we plumbed all of this and created all of this so that the only thing on this floor, on the second floor, is the tank. All the plumbing runs down and the sump and everything, all the water is on the first floor. It all goes downstairs. <laughs> That's really neat. So then that way you can work on the tank, um, you know, as far as the filtration, um, you know, doing your, your odds and ends, you can do it in a different spot and, and not have it all crammed under the tank. And it's quiet here. And it's, yeah. And you're actually doing a water change you as we speak here. right now, right? We are yes. doing a water change at this moment, yes. Automatic. It's not your standard, you know, aquarium tank where you see wires or, you know, lights above the tank and things like that. Everything's all covered up, everything's all put away. And it's all very nicely, uh, nicely done so that you don't uh, have anything affect uh, the way the tank looks. 
I think we brought like 25 or so corals, but it's just a mixture of LPS right now. We're really seeding the tank. Uh, we're really trying to get a start, uh, kind of a, a platform and a base for some of these corals to do well and see how it goes. And then we'll start putting some SPS and some acropores as well. So now we're in Lee's fish room uh, slash filtration room as well. Um, give us a little insight on what we've done for you here, if you don't mind. Lee? Um, we have the water changing stations. Uh, for automatic, automatic water changes. water changes. How awesome is that? It's absolutely amazing. You, yep. know, you can turn, turn two knobs and that's all you do and walk away. You got a little frag tank that's hooked up to the main display. Yes. You got a nice size sump with a skimmer. I think we just installed your calcium reactor today. Yes. Um, and did some, some work on the Apex system as well for you. Um, right behind us here is, I believe, a 300 gallon. Yes. Um, now, what made you want to put a 300 gallon down here? It's just something you wanted to add on, I'm guessing. I don't want to come down here and be bored in this room. <laughs> Makes sense. You know, you have the space for it. You might as well you know, use it up. Um, in my other house, I had a 300 gallon already, um, but this, I wanted to be able to have um, a secondary system, so this is completely separate from, mm -hmm. from the system upstairs, so that I can have duplicate corals in, in both, so if something happens in one, then you've still got the, the backup plan in the other. There you go. So we've got a separate frag tank plumbed to this 300 over here as well. That goes so, together from, yes, yeah, for growing stuff and fragging right. them out and putting them in that tank if you need it to be. So we've got the sump um, and everything that's been been installed and plumbed underneath here as well. So it's so it'll run completely separate. Are there any fish or corals that are on your list that you want to get next? Oh, there's a lot of uh, a lot of both. Uh, we've just we've just added a couple of fish in here uh, today. Uh, we've already had had a, had a few in here, but then. On the next round, we'll add more into this one. Um, I've got another 90-gallon tank set up in my office, though, where I broke my three my previous 300-gallon tank down. So I've still got some fish in there that we'll bring over. Okay. As well as some, some, old, like, some older fish that you've had for a long time. Yes, most most of the ones that I have. I've that's had great. For eight, ten years. That's that's amazing. I mean, they must be you know true pets to you at this point. Absolutely. So. Uh, I believe we're going to come back in about four to five months, give you guys an update on what's, uh, what's going on with the tanks, how well they're doing. And I, I'm sure you guys are going to love to see how uh, some of the corals have been growing and how some of the tanks have been doing. So we'll be featuring some of that later on. Thanks for watching, guys. See you guys next time.